Welcome to LabMins.com and the lab video series on Cisco SD-WAN 20.8. This is Matha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of SD-WAN videos, you can visit our website under the routing switching section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. Welcome back to Lab Minutes next video series. We have been exploring the world of Secure Access Service Edge or SASE with the last three video series being the Cisco Five Power VPN with AnyConnect, the Cisco Duo, and Cisco Umbrella. And that made up, as you can see in this diagram, the security half of Cisco SASE. For the networking half, which is on the left-hand side, we have Cisco Viptela SD-WAN, the Meraki SD-WAN, and the Thousand Eye. We have already covered Cisco Viptela SD-WAN back when Viptela was just acquired by Cisco which was a few years ago, I believe, and back then Viptela was not very well known and there were not a ton of documentations available. That's why Labminus decided to make a video series back then, but in the past three to four years since the acquisition, this has changed tremendously. Right? There are now a lot of Cisco documentation available that you can easily find, a lot of development on the features and functionalities and improvement that has been made to these feature sets a lot more deployment in the real world as well. And the products themselves also change where it used to be mostly VH devices in the deployment and now people are installing and migrating to the CH or iOS XE devices. The controller or the vManage web interface has also been updated to aesthetically align with other Cisco products. So needless to say, a lot has happened. In this video series, we will give Cisco SD-WAN a fresh look using version 20.8, which is the latest version right now, and incorporate some of the key features that have been introduced since our last video series, which was around version 18.3. We will focus solely on the iOS XE devices since many new features are only supported on iOS XE, and that is a platform that Cisco wants you to be moving forward anyway. If you still have the VH in your environment or for some reason need to install VH, the configuration should be very similar on the vManage and you can also check out our original SD-WAN video series as well as we use a lot of uh, VH devices back then. As usual, we are going to start off this video series with an introduction to the technology and give you fundamental concepts on Cisco SD-WAN in case you are new to the technology. I must say though, the concepts haven't really changed since the Viptela days, so if you are already comfortable with your SD-WAN knowledge, you can probably skip the next video. But if you're new to this or need some refresher, continue to watch and even feel free to skip around and only watch the section that you may need some help on, but otherwise, let's get to it. If you have been working on Cisco WAN technology for as long as I have, you would most likely have set up a router and have dealt with technologies like the point-to-point -point connection, the MPLS or the VPLS for private WAN. For connectivity over the internet, right, it would have been some kind of IPsec, DMVPN, or FlexVPN, all of which requires mostly a manual per router type setup or configuration. If you want some kind of load balancing or redundancy across your WAN transport, then you would need to tweak settings to get their desired effect, which is a tedious process. And these are some of the things that SD-WAN was trying to address. Most SD-WAN technologies, including Cisco SD-WAN, offer the benefits of centralized management, configuration automation, the intelligent traffic routing, and some level of network security. This is the reason why many enterprises choose to implement SD-WAN as the WAN network is due for an upgrade. Now let's take a look at different components in Cisco SD-WAN architecture. One key differentiation of most, if not all, SD-WAN solutions compared to the legacy WAN is the fact that it runs on a controller-based architecture. You will soon realize that these controllers are integral parts of the entire solution. And there are three types of controllers in Cisco SD-WAN solution. Now you have the vManage, grab the pencil here. So you got the vManage, the vBond, and vSmart. 